Less than 24 hours after police made two arrests connected to the fatal shooting of an East Bay dentist, one of the men is now dead. 73-year-old Nelson Chia, who was arrested and escorted away in handcuffs late last night, died today. Crown Forest Teresa Stasio joins us now live in the studio with the latest Quite a Twist. Quite a twist, a real significant development actually in this story today. We're learning that Nelson Chia killed himself while in custody at an Alameda County Jail. Specifically, he hung himself as for this case. Oakland's police chief calling this a murder for a hire. Here's what we are learning more about this grim story. It was a crime that shook the little Saigon community in Oakland. Surveillance video captured the moment when beloved dentist Lily Shu pulled up in her car to visit a relative on a sunny afternoon in August. But that is when a suspect approached her and pulled the trigger, killing her. Now police are revealing that this was part of a twisted, bigger plot. I am pleased to announce the arrest of two individuals who are responsible for this heinous crime which sent shockwaves throughout our community. On Friday, authorities announced at a news conference two suspects. Shu's longtime partner, Nelson Chia, 73, who was in the car at the time of the shooting, and Hasim Bassan of Stockton have been arrested for Shu's death. This is not a case about race. This is a case about greed. Some try to use this case as a way of divide in our community. My hope is that we can come together and support the family and the community as we have all experienced this tragedy. Police say that this is an ongoing investigation. And I just echo the words of the chief that this crime was a personal crime committed against the victim and not a crime of race or a crime of hate other than the hatred that the defendant uh, had against his girlfriend. Thank you very much. This video shows Chia after his arrest Thursday evening as he was taken into custody. He was pronounced dead by suicide Friday afternoon. Both men were scheduled to make their first appearance in court on Monday, but it is unclear right now if that will change after Chia's death.